And who knows, Gary Jason Knight might be tuning in. Of course, he's got a couple of brothers in this Bray Wanderers team. As Bray look to now launch an early attack through Almiral. There's the ball off here to Max Murphy. It's a good cross from Murphy and really good header at the back post from Elworthy. We saw him laying down the instructions to his teammates. Uh, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a piece of iconic LTFC Plus content, that. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Griffin really enjoying himself in the middle of the park. And there's another wonderful ball from the former Waterford man. Cruz sends it in. And that could have gone absolutely anywhere. Kyle O'Connor, no option but to hack that out of play. Here this evening as well. O'Connor down the line, but that's a poor throw there from Kyle O'Connor. Nothing going Longford's way at the moment, but of course you create your own luck in this game, and they might get the rub of the green here. Longford have won it back in a good area. Fay, there's the shot on goal from Daniel Norris, but it's easily saved at the near post by Jimmy Corcoran. Chances of improving that home record don't look overly appealing at the moment. That's a lovely turn from Cruz, but that's far too easy oh, from Carl Chambers easy, to let yeah. him go. Good pass into Feeney. Feeney, confident of taking on the shots. Parried by Halwicks, and he got away with that. There was no green and white jersey in the uh, rebound zone. And uh, that is another reprieve for Longford Town. Probably a bit of movement in that game. In the, in the yeah, maybe I was a bit harsh on him originally. He's, he did send it a good distance away from his goal mouth. Cantwell allowed to clear his lines and Longford have switched off at the back and this could result in a chance for Feeney. That's a good save from Harry Halwicks but that's a huge missed chance. Offside flag, oh sorry, oh. that's the corner flag that's gone up. Again, Bray Wanderers allowed the freedom of Bishop's Gate to play the ball around the back and now into the Longford Town half as Nolan gathers it again. This time he does have some pressure coming from Carl Chambers and that brings applause from the town supporters and Campbell Ooh. decides oh. to get involved as well and then there's a coming together of the two players that Chambers is not uh, pleased with that decision I'd be surprised if Kyle O'Connor good tracking back from Darren Craven sticking out those long limbs to win the ball that's a nice ball on the outside of the boot to find Kieran Cruz good tackle from Victor Serdeniuk but again that's commentator's curse I think Craven winning that free kick. Four goals and ten for Longford Town in 2022 before suffering that horror injury away to Cork City. One of those goals, the last gas winner against Bray Wanderers, but he's met a men since then with that brace against Longford here last season. Griffin, that's a lovely cross, and Cole Amora, him one. Oh, it just needed the slightest of touches, and it would have been in the back of the net. Up here. Um, is the fourth official calling him back over, I wonder? It'd be great to see some football in this second half. And he has now given it the green light referee. Ross Fay with the corner. Flicked on at the near post. I think that was Victor Serdeniuk. His 50th appearance for the club tonight. And he almost... You'd wonder how much more Chambers has in the tank. He's run himself into the ground out there tonight. This is some nice footwork from Campbell. Ross Fay with the little back heel oh. and Campbell goes down under a challenge. Referee blows his whistle. It's going to be a free kick to Longford and surely there should be a card following that as well given the area of the pitch that the tackle was made. Yeah, There's a lot of bodies in front of the goalkeeper. He surely doesn't have a clear view of this. Power may be the way to go. Norris! It's in the back of the net and Longford Town have the lead. Daniel Norris, he's been a great addition since arriving at the club from UCD during the summer. He's put Longford in front on the hour mark. Too much on it, he had the right idea. He was trying to find Ben Feeney, who just snuck off the shoulder of his man. Manuel James. Oh, beautiful. Unlucky Manuel. there, but again, Cole Murray him when he's read the danger really well at the back tonight. He's continued his run forward here as well if they can find him. Ball threaded through to Christian McCurson, side netting. She's Cole Murray, he won. Good work by Manny, making up an extra space there. Thompson trying to deceive Kyle O'Connor. O'Connor has to be careful here. Murphy, free cross from here, you'd think. Cole Amora him when chucks his body at it. He got nothing on the ball. He certainly caught Jamie Egan. Ball goes behind for a goal kick, but they're...